Hey guys, this is Happy Fireballman, and today we'll be um, re test driving and reviewing the Kareem 400S. If you haven't seen the first video of me building this, um, I think I advise you that you should. But anyways, let's get into it. As we all know, this this is sort of a if you look on top, it looks like a Corvette, and if you look on front, it looks like a Cobra. And the idea was about a Viper, but with two less cylinders. So let's get into it. So you'll see I have BMNG's own drag car, the uh, Moonhawk. Um, Buckwell Moonhawk, which is a great drag car. But this... Is so... So as we know, most of these um, drag cars made by Beam and G are really uncontrollable. Make them lighter. So we'll make this lighter. Yes, taking away fenders is a cheap way to get a twisted axle. But we didn't know these are uncontrollable. But if you drive this, this is more uncontrollable. And I'm going to turn on ESC because I'm just scared. With the ESC, it's perfectly fine, but like, if you ask me why don't you turn it on off, here's why. It's really uncontrollable. Really, really uncontrollable. It's basically the Viper itself. Viper is uncontrollable and he's a skilled driver like me. And just like this. So now. We have made a drag car, which is really uncontrollable. But let's get into business. This one is just in control. But now let's just go and go on the elemental strips. Or before that, we should we should go on the um, mud mudding area. All my doubts. We won't mud bug. So we'll go on the elemental test trip already. If I can get there. Slow speed. This is basically what American muscle is. Uncontrollable power. See, uncontrollable. Not 
not even Carmack can save this. Nothing can save you. If you're in this, you're dead. Now let's go onto the um, mud. When there's a will, there's a way. Nope. Will Dubai like it? I'm not sure how many um, crash cars, um, cars I would have made. Gonna be used on the road. Fly upstairs. I'm not sure if this can use its power here. Fine tuned suspension. Well, bye bye bumper. If I put this engine in the brodozer, it would have been a monster. It's simply not high enough. So mall cops can't get the cool cars because, well, the cool cars are for cool people. They can drive the cool cars. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's good if I'm like hopeful. Good. 
this has just the most polluted exhaust. Drift car, drift car, definitely. Drag car, yes. These two are just both uncontrollable. These two are uncontrollable behemoths with a lot of power. I already tested the um, Kareem um, 400S. Where that one has um, uh, 200 miles per hour to go. This one, I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna question it because it's just so powerful. Yeah, it's taking some time. So, yes. This is faster. But... This is more, I guess, livable. And plus, this runs on regular fuel. And it's not that crazy where you can't drive it. It's really safe. Like, really safe. isn't undrivable, indrivable. It just needs you to be a better driver. be slow on the accelerator on the gas
So, it can reach 200, and it's livable. So, yeah, that'll be the end of today's video. Um, I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon on the next one. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and please let me know what to build next.